Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today, playing some more Clash Royale. I've been struggling for a little bit, guys. Let's go look at my log. First, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. Um, did it just clear or something? Did it? Oh, man. I had a whole bunch more losses. I went on like a five loss streak. I was down to like the 2,900 or something. Um, just losing to, uh, the golem. I was trying to defeat it without having to use the inferno. I don't know why. I just don't like, I don't like using defenses that much. I'm more of an offensive player. I like to push. I like to do all that kind of stuff. Um, and so defenses, that's just not my style. I don't have anything against them or I don't have anything against infernos. It just normally isn't my style, but I've started playing with it because I have to, I have to be able to, um, do work to, giant skeletons or golems whenever they come in and the inferno is by far the best counter to those big cards even giants things like that um and balloons it works really really well all around like that so i've implemented it into my deck i've got a 4-0 cost deck right now inferno hog rider skeletons balloon uh mini pekka on top of the inferno against a golem it's done it's gone it's not even gonna make it to your freaking tower um, free spell, uh, wizard, and the fireball. So, in order to do well with this deck, you've got to play very, very, very slow. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just go over some of these. Uh, that top one, was I was just playing a clan mate. Uh, he was a level 8, so ignore that one. Um, but let's go ahead and watch some of these. So, here's a replay against Pierre. Um, and I'm pretty sure that he has the Inferno as what well. I think that's what it, I just saw in there. Um, but I, I've, I've told you guys this before. For me, I just like to switch things up. I, I don't like using the same strategy uh, <clears throat> because I get kind of bored with it. And you guys can probably tell that from watching my videos that it's, it's pretty significant. But this right here is a huge play. You can see that um, he dropped off on the left side over here. Um, I dropped off on the right. And that free spell was miserable. But thankfully, his, uh, his prince goes down very, very quickly. And um, our tower on the right side is able to do a little bit of damage to this bloom. And I knew it was about to wear off, so I'm done. I'm not going to try and defend it. I'm going to let my elixir build up because, again, with a four elixir deck, you got to be patient. That tower over on the right got dominated by a hog rider, completely untouched, down to 18 hit points. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. So now I'm pretty much just chilling. I got my fireball if I need it. Um, we're going to drop off the balloon right here. And that expo, thankfully, was out of range. But I dropped my uh, wizard off. Terrible timing with the wizard. If I dropped it off immediately after, we would have been good to go. But thankfully, this is how the expo needs to be used. Um, even though I know what the description says, that it's meant to whittle away your towers. Um, but obviously, there's an issue with it, and that's why they're tweaking it. And I can't wait to see how it changes after the update. The update is going to be amazing, guys. It's coming in the next two days or so, the beginning of the week. Not too sure exactly what day, but it's going to be the beginning of this week. So that's going to be great, 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 great for us. Um, so uh, I drop off my Inferno here. Stupid. So stupid. The reason I dropped it off there was because I wanted it to be out of range of the Expo. But because I dropped it off there, his Giant Skeleton is going to make it to my tower. And it's going to do um, almost 1,000 damage to it. We're going to take out that tower on the right with the... Uh, hog rider no problem whatsoever um, <clears throat> but again I've got to play slow through these first two minutes otherwise I can get in trouble uh, which is why uh, which is kind of why I'm, I'm, I'm playing like I am so he's gonna go right here he's gonna drop off this I'm gonna drop off a wizard over here and then we're gonna go fireball as well um, and take both of them out after the prince gets off one single hit um, which does a lot of damage the prince if he can get to your tower whoo you might you you would definitely be in trouble if he can get to your tower so we're going down the left side right here. It's double elixir time. I'm going to go and just freeze the uh, minions and um, get to the tower and do get off one hit on the minions. So thankfully we were, we were able to get our wizard down over here on the left side. Wizards and arrows are the best counter for, um, <clears throat> for what the heck am I trying to say, for uh, minions. So right here on the right side, crazy, crazy stuff going on. Uh, the Inferno Tower thankfully was able to do a lot of damage right here. And then we're just going to go ahead and fireball and take these guys out. 16 seconds left in the match. We've got his king tower down really, really low. He's got our left tower down super far. He's going to go ahead and take it out right here. No problem. That was six elixir for him that he used straight up. And again, we're just going to go ahead, freeze these minions. We're going to get to the tower and drop off once. And that's going to be game over against Mr. Pierre. So, uh, great job. He played really well. Um, I... You just got to play slow with a deck like this. You honestly just have to play slow with a deck like this. So we'll go ahead and watch Jerry. He's another higher level person at 2100. 
Um, all these guys are level 10 and I'm level 11. And it does make a bit of a difference. You can see I've got 210 more health. But all that is is two shots from archers, pretty much. It's about two to three arrows from an archer. So the health of them isn't really what makes that big of a difference. Uh, the damage that they do is one thing that makes a fairly good difference. So right here, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I dropped off way too much elixir at the beginning. Um, but uh, we're able to take that out and do a little bit of damage with the bomb there. And then we're able to drop off our wizard over here. And I can kind of recover. Like, I can say thankfully. Like, thank you. Thank you <laughs> that I was able to recover right there. It looked like he just dropped him behind his tower. Did you see that? So now he's got his expo down, guys, and I am so annoyed. But thankfully, it's focused on our wizard, and we can drop off our Inferno Tower right up here and take it down real quick. If you guys didn't know, the Inferno Tower does great damage to expos. It's an amazing counter. Um, so right here, we're just going to go ahead and wait and fireball. And what do I do? I suck. That's what I do. Um, I miss the uh, spear goblins and you want to know something funny while I was playing this game I was playing balloons and I just put the match away on balloons because I was like no I'm high at, I'm really high up or I was a high up um, over 2200 and I had a focus so everything that's been done so far I was playing another game <laughs> and I was like okay no you've got to focus on this freaking match because this is big so right now we're the underdog um, he's taking us over he's doing a lot more damage to us and we've got to be a little careful. So we've got our wizard and our balloon coming in hot. Um, the balloon, thankfully, is going to be able to take out uh, that spawner over on the right side. Now he's going to drop off a knight here, I think. No, he's going to drop off his minion horde and uh, watch what happens with this. So the minion horde comes in. He's going to go ahead and freeze. And uh, one minion stays alive from the wizard. Not too sure why that was the case. But our wizard's going to come in and try and get off a shot. But sadly, it will fail. So we'll go ahead and fireball right there. Take out those two barbarians that just spawned. We're going to distract with our skeletons over here. Then drop off a mini P.E.K.K.A. And uh, slowly be able to progress again. So we're in our last minute. He's going to come in and he's going to barely miss that last hit right there, guys. Um, so we got to go after it. I have got to stop messing around. We've got our balloon coming in. Um, we're going to drop off our Inferno Tower as well up there. And drop off. I think I dropped off. Where did I drop off the wizard? I didn't. I used a freeze spell. And we were able to barely get to the tower right there. Wizard's going to come down. Do a whole bunch of splash damage right here. Um, and stop them from even touching our tower. While it is at 120. Um, I'm not sure if this guy has any rain. No, he does. He has the... Uh, He's got his lightning spell. So I think he go ahead. Uh, blah, I think he lightning spells in just a second to take out that final tower as he sees us pushing in right here. Um, I'm just going to ignore. I'm not going to freeze quite yet. Now I'm going to freeze now that he drops down that wizard. And we're going to take out that tower. And then he's going to go ahead and lightning down on ours, I believe. Yep, because he's only got five seconds left. He's going to take that out. Our balloon's going to uh, get up there and do a little bit of damage to the tower. But our goal now, guys, is obviously to defend the right side and to push up. Now... We were down significantly. We were down 700. I'm going to go ahead and take this out in two shots with our little mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh, and then we are going to um, drop off our uh, our hog right over here on the... No, we're going to drop off our balloon over here on the right with our wizard. Now that those minions are down, freeze right here. And this is going to be huge for us. He's going to drop off these guys. I'm going to go ahead and just fireball that tower as we take it down with the balloon and finish up that match right there. So there's been a long wait time um, when it comes to playing. So we're going to go ahead and play. Like I said, I wasn't, I haven't been playing too hot. So hopefully we can jump into a match um, for you guys and do fairly well. Look, I think the wait, yeah, five minutes. So uh, hopefully it's only like two minutes and I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds once that's done. And uh, we'll go ahead and try and get a live match in for you guys with this more expensive deck. All right, guys, we're back. We're playing that same Pierre guy. Um, so hopefully we can do fairly well. My dog is in my lap trying to uh, distract me right now. So you know I'm not going to have that. Please stop. No. Um, so we're going to see what he drops down here. I kind of want to save my Inferno Tower. So here he goes over here. Um, and watch this. We are going to freeze this Prince right, right as he gets to us. And, and the balloon. Take it out. Come on. Freeze it. Oh my goodness. That was terrible. Now he's probably going to drop off a freeze spell as well. Um, and it is going to affect our... Uh, it's gonna affect us fairly drastically, but the wizard's gonna do some work over here, and we're just gonna leave it alone. The mini Pekka's honestly probably gonna take that tower down. Yes! Mini Pekka by itself on a tower. So strong. You cannot touch it. Um, <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was so ridiculous. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Um, so we, we definitely wasted a lot of elixir right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just fireball right here. Oh, hey, what's up, bud? 
And we'll go ahead and distract him over here with these skeletons. Oh, come on. Yes, he turned around. Hopefully he walks the other direction and doesn't take out our Inferno. Oh, gosh. Okay, so he did a good amount of damage to the Inferno. Our goal now, guys, we know he has a balloon. We know he has a minion horde. So um, our counters to that are the Wizard and the Inferno Tower. But we are, we are going to go ahead and drop off on the right. And I know that he has his Prince still. So let's see what he does over here. Oh, wow. So he's going to go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and drop off a balloon right here as he tries to whittle away our tower um, with, his, uh, with his expo. And our balloon is going to come around the left side. And honestly, I think that I might freeze whatever he drop, drops off on. So we're going to go ahead and freeze right there. Oh, no. Somebody's at my door. <laughs> Somebody's at my door. I'm going to let this go, guys. I will be right back. Guys, <laughs> um, I ordered a pizza, and it was at the door, and we just won. <laughs> Ridiculous. Coming back up to a three-star, you guys are probably like, what the heck just happened? I left, came back. The balloon took it. I knew it was going to take it to the house. Um, that is going to be it. probably the most ridiculous ending to a video that you guys have ever seen. If you're still here and you just saw that, wow, I'm out of breath because I just had to run up here and check, see what was going on. But thank you so much for watching. Love you guys so much. I mean the absolute world to me. You know that that is true. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like on it. And uh, as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on. And most importantly, dab on them, all right? That's what you got to do, guys. See ya.